all YouTubers. It's Nelson again with Unit and Apple Firms. Bam! This is our breeding station. Ah, and our female station as well. Uh, this is what we've been working for the past uh, for the past few months. That's why we haven't been really able to uh, make any videos until now. Um, you can see here we have fingerlings, blue gill fingerlings for aquaponics for all Sacramento and here in the United States. We ship them anywhere. We are breeding bluegill. These are a few that we are left off now. Uh, the way this system works, we design it and that way you don't need a lot of filters. It's efficiency is the key. That's what we believe in, okay? So we are not here to uh, change filters every day. We are now using electricity for uh, filters. Uh, it works. It's been working good, great for us. Um, we have an inlet over here on this side, and we have a solid lift on this side. Uh, it's not a U, it's a T, so you don't create a siphon and siphon all the water out. A lot of people are, doing, are doing that. All we have to do is drill the hole in the aquariums and use a bulkhead feed, which we also have in different sizes that you can also buy in our site. We have bulkhead feeding and I'll show you guys on another video. We really believe in this uh, feeding. It's a, it's, a, it's a good feeding. It works. They design it very well. Um, you can see here we have a few, uh, these are actually a little older fingerlings. I think these are like three or four months. Uh, Bluegill tend to take a little longer to grow as compared to tilapia. So we have them and they have the same thing. We put a few pipe. Um, for them to hide and kind of feel safe. They use this clay pots just like how Tilapia uses. Over here at the bottom, uh, we're starting to grow a culture uh, for water fleas, Daphne. This is live feed for fish. We also sell them for you guys, so you can actually give all your fresh water fish, even salt water fish, they will love this Daphne uh, because they actually sleep, swim in the water and it's very nutritious for pingolins. So they grow faster when they eat this live feed and we grow them here. We put them, usually when we ship them out, we put them in a small container uh, in a, uh, overnight shipping. So uh, you can get any amount really. We'll have six worms of all just Daphnia and fingerlings, variety of them. Uh, you see here bluegill, we have cory catfish, bottom feeders for your systems. They are very good fish. They eat uh, all the leftover at the bottom. Uh, over here we have, uh, over here you can come and see, we have fingerlings. They are called uh, Panda Rachu. Fingerlings, I think you can see one over here swimming close to the filter right there. Uh, so, and the parents, I will show you later uh, on our reader for uh, Panda Oranda's black around that brush or some people call them. They're very nice, good looking fish, I love them. Um, so, come in the back and I'll show you what we have going on in the back. Sorry, we have to clean up, forgive me. Okay, so, this is gonna be a little bit of a crash course on how our components works as well. We have a regular grow light over here, and we have kale. I love kale, we eat a lot of kale, we juice a lot. And a regular grow bed. This grow bed, the depth is a little deeper. We try to increase a little uh, surface area and that way um, the solids get broken down very well. So all the solids get, it gets lifted up on this pipe and it all drains down to this grow bed. And the grow bed has bacteria. Bacteria breaks down the solids and the, uh, also converts the uh, ammonia which comes on the waste itself and transform it into nitrates which uh, plants use as the food source. So it's a symbiotic relationship just like I've seen, I've seen it a million times, I don't even want to repeat it anymore because uh, that's how it works, that's how aquaponics is, it's a symbiotic relationship between fish and plants and this is the explanation of it. It's, a, it's just a regular flood and drain system I'll turn this way so you can see the plants. Uh, it's a regular flood and drain system. Uh, we have kale, I say nine plants, kale. Uh, you can put them very dense and uh, chards. And we have media uh, bio balls here for further breakdown of any leftover and uh, aeration for the fish, for returning fish water. Uh, the advantage of a system like this, we don't use a lot of heating. 
okay? Because of the retention time on this sump. The amount of water that stays here, the bell siphon just hit. So the water comes down, the bell siphon hits, everything goes down where it gets heated. We have a two to three minutes retention time with close to two, three uh, heaters of up to 25, 250 gallons. So those heaters, three heaters, heats all our 18 tanks as compared to one heat up every tank. So use a lot of electricity. And it's been working for us uh, right now. It's a little bit of a winter. Um, all our aquariums are close to like 75, 78, between 75, 78. Uh, we can crank up the heater to get to 8, 80. Um, and I can continue to show the front and explain a little further on how everything works. Again, so all the solid lifts are here. You can see like that pipe sucks up all the solids. It goes on the pipes that I showed you in the back. It goes on the grow bed. It's a drain, flood and drain system, our rainfall system, where the fish waste sits on the grow bed, it gets broken down, and when it gets converted to nitrates, plants use the nitrates. Fresh water comes back here. When it comes back, it has a little bit of aeration, okay? You can see this. When the bell siphon heats in the back, and it's a little noisy, so you know it already heats, the water gets pumped here, and you can see it agitates the water, provide oxygen for the fish, and also stir the water down, in that way the solids can be agitated to get sucked up and go in there, and that way we don't use filters. So, we have three advantages. We don't use as many filters, okay? As compared to fish stores, they use a lot of filter for every single farm. Maybe if we go high density, we might need them. We haven't need them so far. Um, another advantage is we don't use heaters, a lot, a lot of heaters, because we only use three heaters for all the firms because of their retention time on the sun and the amount of the reservoir size for your water. So I'll show you and I'll explain a little more on the system. Stay tuned and please if you haven't sub subscribed, subscribe because there's a lot to come. And uh, under this video, there's going to be another video showing on the other side on our breeder section. And I will show you our quarantine tanks and our uh, water testing. So I'm working on a lot of projects. And if you do have any ideas of what videos you might want to see, please comment below and let me know. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Appreciate your support.